Northrop Grumman's X-29, an experimental fighter jet from the Cold War era, remains a favorite among aviation enthusiasts. Despite never advancing beyond the testing phase, manufacturer Northrop Grumman may be best known for developing the F-14 fighter popularized by the blockbuster film Top Gun. However, the company is behind one of the most obscure experimental airframes in aviation history. In fact, the X-29 never even made it past its testing phase. This airframe was developed more than four decades ago, yet it remains a fan favorite for aviation experts. The X-29 was submitted to fulfill this need, going up against the General Dynamics F-16 Fighting Falcon. When this prototype was introduced, it became the first airframe of its kind to feature forward-swept wings, that made it appear as though they were installed backward. The X-29 notably achieved the ability to fly supersonically with this unique wing design. The X-29 measured roughly 48 feet long and its unique wingspan stretched to just over 27 feet. However, the concept driving it dated back further. Both the US and Nazi Germany experimented with forward-swept wings during the Second World War. Like design issue that would persist to plague the X-29, these earlier conceptions were also flawed. Developed in the 1980s to challenge Soviet air superiority, the X-29 featured revolutionary forward-swept wings, offering exceptional maneuverability and supersonic capabilities. Powered by a General Electric F404 GE400 engine, the X-29 reached speeds of Mach 1.6 and flew 242 missions between 1984 and 1991. However, like its Russian counterpart, the Su-47, the X-29 faced significant design challenges and was ultimately retired, with only two prototypes ever built. When the Cold War was heating up back in the 1970s, the U.S. military began seeking a dynamic fighter platform to better compete against the Soviets' own aerial fleet. When the Cold War was heating up back in the 1970s, the U.S. military began seeking a dynamic fighter platform to better compete against the Soviets' own aerial fleet. As detailed by NASA, the complex geometries of the wings and canards combined to provide exceptional maneuverability, supersonic performance, and a light structure. Air moving over the forward-swept wings tended to flow inward toward the root of the wing instead of outward toward the wing tip as occurs on an aft-swept wing. NASA and the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency collaborated to make sure the wing design functioned on the X-29 Advanced Composite Materials enabled the wing structures to be lightweight and rigid. While the X-29 was very agile even flying at fast speeds, it required a computerized fly-by-wire control system for stability. The aircraft had a maximum operating altitude of 50,000 feet, a maximum speed of Mach 1.6 and a flight endurance time of approximately one hour. The only significant difference between the two aircraft was an emergency spin chute deployment system, mounted at the base of the rudder on aircraft number two. External wing structure is primarily composite materials incorporated into precise patterns to develop strength and avoid structural divergence. In the mid-1980s, the X-29 took its first flight from Edwards Air Force Base. Northrop Grumman's chief test pilot Chuck Sewell flew the airframe. A second X-29 prototype flew two years later. In total, both aircraft were in the air 242 times between 1984 and 1991. The first X-29 to fly was relegated to display duties at the Research and Development Gallery of the National Museum of the U.S. Air Force on Wright-Patterson Air Force Base in Ohio.